Welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to talk about two ways to subtract negative numbers. The first way we're going to do this is using the rule, add the opposite, and the second way is by using a number line to visualize our solution. Here we go. Number one way, using a rule. Here's our rule, our subtracting rule. To subtract, change the subtraction sign to addition, and then the value that follows the subtraction sign to its opposite. To summarize that, change to addition and add the opposite. Even more student-friendly language, keep, change, opposite. So anytime we see a subtraction problem, we are finding the difference, we're going to do keep, so negative 4 stays negative 4, change the subtraction sign to addition, and find the opposite value of the number that follows the subtraction sign. So negative 3, the opposite is 3. Keep, change to addition, opposite. So now we have an addition problem. So negative 4 add positive 3 is the same problem as negative 4 subtract negative 3. Much easier to look at this. Negative 4 add 3 has a sum of negative 1. Let's look at this using our second way, our second method, using a number line. We will model subtracting integers using a number line. So I have the same subtraction problem, negative 4, subtract negative 3, and we're going to do this on a number line. So again, we're going to always start at 0 when we're on a number line. That's where you start. Our first value is negative 4, so we're going to go negative 4 on our number line. So that means we're going to go left. Anytime you see a negative or a subtraction sign, you change direction. So from 0, we're going to head over to negative 4. Then we see it says subtract, so we need to be prepared to change direction. So we're going to be prepared to go left. However, our next value, negative 3, means change direction again. So now we have to go to the right because we have to change our direction and we have to go three, one, two, three, and we land at negative one, which is exactly where we landed when we changed using keep, change, opposite. So negative one is negative four, subtract negative three. All right, it's your turn. You pick the method that worked best for you, maybe try both, to solve negative 1, subtract negative 2. Pause the video here and come back and hit play to see the solution. Welcome back. So we're going to review the solution. We're going to find the difference. Negative 1, subtract negative 2. We're going to do this using keep, change, opposite. So we keep negative 1, we change subtraction to addition, and find the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. Now we add. Negative 1, add 2, is positive 1. Let's look at this on the number line. Here's our number line. We're going to start at 0, and we're going to go negative 1. So 0 to negative 1. We're going to be prepared to change our direction because we see subtract, and then we have to change direction again because this is negative. So we change direction and go two spaces to the right and we end up on positive 1, just like we did when we used our subtracting rule. Here's another one for you, your turn. Find the difference, so pause here and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So again, we're going to do our solution by using keep, change, opposite. So keep 5, change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. 5 add 1 is 6. Let's try another one. Negative 2 subtract negative 13. Fine. I'm going to have you find the difference, so pause now and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So negative 2, we're going to keep, add, opposite. So negative 2, change to addition, the opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. Negative 2 add 13 is positive 11. Here's one more. Find the difference. 8 subtract negative 5. Pause here and come back and hit play. Welcome back. 
we're going to keep change opposite. So we keep 8, change to addition, opposite of negative 5, positive 5, 8, add 5 is positive 13. Okay, last one for you. Negative 7, subtract negative 11. Please pause, find the difference, and then come back and hit play. Welcome back. We're going to keep change opposite. So keep negative 7, change to addition. The opposite of negative 11 is positive 11. Negative 7, add 11, is positive 4. And there you have it. That is two ways to subtract negative numbers using a rule and using a number line. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Hope you have a great day and come back soon.